on this. Right? <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Literal equations, all right? One of our most confusing parts of algebra. And the reason why it's so confusing is it's just a lot of mumbo jumbo up there. We don't really know exactly what we're solving for. We're not going to find a value. Um, you know, usually when you're solving equations, it's like x equals 4 or x equals 5. It's easy to understand. Well, here, what we're doing is we're solving for a variable w, and we don't really know exactly what's, um, you know, what's going to be happening, what our answer is. We just have all these letters. So what we need to think about is tr try not to think about what value we're going to get for w, but try to think of what is happening to w that's um, prevented from being by itself. Remember, when I say solve, I want to get my answer to be w equals, meaning I want w by itself. I want nothing else to be on the side of w. So what I need to do is I need to look at what's happening to my variable w and then just undo that by using inverse operations. So I look over here and I have a couple things that are happening. First, I have multiplication, right? And I have subtraction. Mr. Booth, can you please call extension 1002? Mr. Booth, please call extension over here, 1002. It's very easy for us to say, oh, it's subtraction that's going on. Well, remember, I'm actually, this is Q minus P over W. So what's really happening is this is a positive Q. So what that means is I'm actually adding a positive Q to my variable P over W. So this is a negative P over W. I'm not subtracting a W. I'm not um, subtracting a Q from W. You always want to do what is happening to your variable. So I'm actually adding a Q to my variable, which turns out to be negative. And then, this one's even more confusing, is I'm actually dividing by my variable. So I'm gonna get to that when we get to it. So, first thing what we wanna do is when we're doing inverse operations, it's kinda like the reverse PEMDAS, uh, reverse order of operations. You always wanna undo addition and subtraction first. So I need to undo subtracting by my Q. So to do that, I'm gonna wanna add Q. So to here, I'm gonna add Q. And remember, whatever you add on the left side, you have to make sure you add to the right side. A lot of students will add a Q over here. Well, that's just adding two Qs to one side. Now it's uneven. So make sure you only add, see, we want to add these two together because now a negative Q plus Q cancels out to become zero. And that just leaves us with PW equals T plus Q is not W or Z or X. It's just T plus Q. We don't know what they represent. So just leave them there. Now we see we have multiplication by our P. So to undo multiplication, we need to divide by P. So therefore, my final answer is W equals T plus Q all over P. And remember, anything divided by itself is going to equal 1. So that's why I have that 1 there. But we don't really write 1 times W. We can just write W. And you notice, is my answer in what W equals? Yes. So we're good. All right. So over here, we have this addition that's starting off, right? We want to get rid of addition first. So to do that, I'm going to have to subtract by Q. So therefore, I have a negative P over W. Remember, this is a negative, so you got to keep that negative sign there. Equals T minus Q. Now, here's where we have a problem. We have this W on the bottom, right? And we need to get the W off of the bottom, right? So this is a fraction. What means this is I'm dividing by W. So I'm going to have to undo this division. So what I'm going to have to do to undo that, I'm going to have to multiply by W on both sides. I'm going to put parentheses on here, representing I'm multiplying this W times everything over here. So just make sure you don't multiply the W times Q or the W times T. You have to represent your multiplying by both of them. Well, this is going to show I'm dividing W divided by W, which will cancel out. So I'm left with the negative P equals T minus Q times W. So then I look at this problem and I say, well, what is actually multiplying by my W? Well, I'm multiplying a T minus Q times the W. So it's both of these numbers are being multiplied by W. So to get rid of them, I'm going to have to divide by T minus Q. And therefore, I have a negative P all over T minus Q equals W. And again, do I have a W equals? Well, yes, it's kind of written the other way, but still my W is by itself. So that's how you solve for W when you have, you know, kind of a simple literal equation and a little bit more difficult literal equation. Question?